Hey everybody, I'm Shay and welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and please feel free to donate so I can keep making more videos. Thanks. So today we're going to be discussing the gross anatomy of the heart. And gross just pretty much means anything that we can see with our naked eye without using a microscope. So let's start by discussing the size and location of the heart first. The heart isn't usually that big in size. It's usually about the size of a fist, and it's going to be located in the mediastinum right behind the sternum bone. And note that the left side of the heart is going to make up its majority. Uh, that is because the left side of the heart has more muscle and more mass, and we will discuss why that is later. So the two main regions of the heart is going to be the base, which is the widest part of the heart, and it's going to be the apex, which is the narrow ending here. And this narrow ending is going to touch the wall of the chest right below the left nipple. And if you actually take your index finger and your middle finger and place it below your left nipple, you can actually feel your heartbeat most intensely and most clearly here. This is going to be called your PMI or your point of maximal intensity. Always note when taking a pulse, never use your thumb because your thumb has a pulse of its own. The surface of the heart is going to have indentations of fat made by septa. And your septa is going to separate the chambers of your heart. But if you look closely here, you, you see your coronary sulcus is going to separate the atria and the ventricles. And your anterior and posterior interventricular sulcus is going to separate the ventricles. But if you look closely at the name, it can kind of give you a feel of which chambers of the heart it's separating. So if we refer back to AMP1, coronary means a horizontal plane. So that could let you know that the coronary sulcus is going to separate the atria and the ventricles. And then the anterior and posterior interventricular sulcus, uh, again, you can kind of get a feel of which chambers it's going to separate because of the name. Enter ventricular, it separates the ventricles. And let this enter inside of interventricular sulcus means intervene. It's going to intervene right between the ventricles of the heart. So if you ever look at a picture of the heart, you will see that there are going to be blood vessels running up and down these indentations of fat. And that is because sulci is usually a place where blood vessels of the heart lie.